Hey, good morning. Welcome to my porch. I was hoping to do this live, but evidently my mobile device, for whatever reason, doesn't meet YouTube's qualifications for doing a live thing. So hopefully I'll get that fixed. I thought it was important this morning that we sit down and have a little chat. And I apologize that the camera might kind of sway in the wind a little bit. It's a little breezy out here this morning, but man, is it gorgeous. I've got the birds behind me. I've even got some turkeys back in the fields. Uh, I've been hearing them call all morning and I'm just enjoying this moment of stopped rain momentarily and just God's beauty that's all around me. Thought I'd share with you a really nice devotional reading that I found for this morning. Our scripture reading comes from Ezekiel, Ezekiel chapter 36, and it's verses 24 through 28. It says this, I will take you from the nations and gather you from all the countries and bring you into your own land. I will sprinkle clean water on you and you shall be clean from all your uncleannesses and from all of your idols. I will cleanse you. I will give you a new heart and a new spirit I will put within you. I'll remove the heart of stone from your flesh and give you a heart of flesh. And I will put my spirit within you and cause you to walk in my statutes and be careful to obey my rules. You shall dwell in the land that I gave to your fathers and you shall be my people and I will be your God. I've got this cute little devotional book given to me several years ago. It's called uh, Morning Glories. And the devotion says this, Marion sighed as she looked out the window. Monday morning and here I am in the same old rut. Do you ever feel like you're in some kind of a rut? Maybe we all do at times. Even though we know that this is no part of God's plan for us, God is not a creator of ruts. Rather, he promises a whole series of new things, new experiences, new paths to travel with him, all of which have their beginnings with his free offer of a new heart and a new spirit. A new heart. Hmm. The cynic of today might argue, but modern medical skill and knowledge are capable of giving anyone a new heart. Our reply could be yes. You may be able to get a new heart if you are a medically viable candidate, your insurance covers the cost, you are willing to risk the percentages, but even then there is no guarantee. We need to keep in mind also that there is much more than a medical cure inherent in God's offer. This new heart means a total change. Old things are passed away. Behold, all things have become new. 2 Corinthians 5.17 Note too that this is a twofold offer, a new heart and a new spirit. Not even the most dedicated, the most highly skilled and experienced surgeon can implant a new spirit in his patient. Here's another new thing that we're promised in God's word, a new song, Psalm 43. You may not be a soloist or even a member of a choir, but one day you will be if you have this new heart. I recall a chorus we used to sing. I have a song in my heart today, something I have never heard. Jesus has come up and my cup overruns. Oh, say, but I'm glad. For the soul-inspiring words of the song, we will join in when we reach heaven. See Revelations 5, 9 through 13. It would take more than this whole little book to talk about all the new things, both in this life and the life to come that God has in store for this new in heart. So how do we get this new heart? We have to want it. We have to be dissatisfied with having a sin-prone heart, and we have to confess this to God and ask Him to forgive us for Jesus' sake. Only then will we have a new heart and a new spirit that will put a new song on our lips that will make us recipients of God's mercies, 
that are new every morning, Lamentations 3, 22 through 23. A new heart. Getting out of our ruts. This is a time of uncertainty, a time when we're just not sure day to day. But I can be assured of one thing. If I ask, God forgives. And with this forgiveness, he gives me a new heart. Takes out that heart of stone and gives me a heart of flesh. Instills a new spirit within me so that I become a new man. A new person. A new human being. One who loves God with everything that I am. And loves my neighbor as myself. And every day works and tries to do her best to walk that path that God's put in front of me. I ask you this morning, do you have a new heart? If you don't, do you want one? It's an amazing journey, and God's with us every step of the way. I pray that your ruts are taken away that you find that path that God has set in front of you and that you want that new heart. I hope you have a blessed day and enjoy the beautiful creation that God has given us. Bye-bye.